my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Rennie Carroll, she became a dual person. Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. Sorry, and nobody's allowed in here. I'm making up the master list of answers for tomorrow's chemistry exam. Oh, I wanted to see Miss Thomas. Oh. The master list of answers? Yeah, that's why I gotta guard this place like Fort Knox. Anyway, Miss Thomas and Mr. Mason are on their way over to see Dr. Barnes. Oh, sure, okay, well, see you later. Okay. Now, ah! there are no more interruptions. Ah! It's 10 ah! minutes! And that goes for you, too. I wonder why Dr. Barnes wants to see me. You'll soon find out. I'll never get that list of the answers to the test finished. Well, don't worry about it. Let Rennie finish it. You're right. But I'm worried that someone may try to get a preview of that exam. by yourself. I don't think she minds. But still, it's not fair. Miss Thomas! Miss Thomas! Oh, it's Tut. He's gone. Gone where? I don't know. I, he flew out the window and I can't find him. <laughs> well, he wouldn't go very far unless something scared him. Let's take a look around. Go with the kids. Tut! Okay, come on. Now let's go through it once more. All right, finish up. All right, now keep it up. 
Everybody gather around. Come on. Okay, beautiful. All right, come on. Everybody gather around. Now look, we're going to critique the performance last week at the Westmont game. Uh. That's right. It wasn't so hot. And some of you cats look pretty sloppy in your execution, and we can't have that. Isn't he beautiful when he's angry? Come on, Ian. This is serious. I am serious, Tommy. Yeah, well, you better be. I understand some of you have been falling down on your grades. Now, you've got to have a B to stay on the team. Not to worry. For you, I'll be an instant genius. Not for me, for the squad. You're too good to lose. Good enough to be number one girl? Your partner? Yeah, look, Anne, every job on this team is up for grabs, including mine. If you think you're good enough to beat Wynn out for the number one spot, go right ahead. Right, Wynn? Sure, take your best shot. OK, next on the agenda. We've got to work on routine number six, OK? That's what we're going to use next week at the game. All right, come on, let's move. Now move. Okay. Let's go. All right, put it together now. OK, go. All right, that was nice. Come on. Okay, come on. All right. Ted! Ted, are you in there? Mr. Mason, any luck? Zilch. Oh. I wonder how Andrea's doing. Likewise. I just don't understand. Are you sure nothing scared Tut Rennie? I didn't even know he was gone until Ann came in and told me. Ann Taylor? Uh-huh. She's out looking for him, too. Well, she's certainly not looking very hard. I just saw her down at cheerleader practice. Well, she's probably just taking a break. Could be. Anyway, we better get back to the search. Tut could be in trouble. <laughs> Tut's anywhere around. He must be well hidden. I'm so sorry, Miss Thomas. Now stop oh, that, Rennie. It wasn't your fault. I know, Hi, everybody. Anne! Anne! Any sign of Tut? Oh, um... Oh, Miss Thomas, I... I looked everywhere for him, and there wasn't a feather. Thanks anyway, Anne. Let's call it a day. Tut left by himself. Maybe he'll come back by himself. Go on now. Scoot. Bye. All right, Andrea, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Rick. I think it's time Isis took a hand in this. Oh, mighty Isis. Zephyr winds which blow on high, lift me now so I can fly.
are you? I'm fine. How's Ted? Well, I've bandaged his wing, and his feet are a little tender from all that running, but otherwise he's fine. <laughs> Thanks to Isis. And a little fancy footwork by Ted himself. <laughs> Hi, Miss Thomas. Rennie. Hi, Ann. Good morning, Ann. I hope you're ready for the chemistry exam. Piece of cake, Miss Thomas. Believe me, you don't have to worry. Well, I hope you're right. You're the one who will flunk the course if you fail the exam this morning. Easy as a triple back flip. I'll see you. Need a pencil? Okay. Um, Derek and Anne. Do you need a pencil? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You have 15 minutes for this exam. You may begin now. Check your answers? Uh-uh. Ninety-five percent! Hey, winner, that's not bad. Not bad? I did a lot better than Wynn did. Okay, 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 you're perfect. Right, so how about giving me her spot? Look, Anne, you're good. Well, you're better than good. But, but Wynn's talent is something special. As long as she's around, I'm sorry. As long as she's around. Beautiful. That was beautiful, yes. Wynn, beautiful. Listen, why don't you try a one with a half twist, OK? OK. OK, beautiful. Come on. Ah, beautiful. All right. Excellent, excellent. Come on. be the master list. It is. How do you know? Well, uh, I got almost all the answers right on the exam, and I remembered the order. It couldn't be anything else. That makes sense. Not if I know when. She doesn't have any reason to cheat. Chemistry is one of her best subjects. Well, I, I guess she was afraid of being thrown off the cheerleading squad if she failed. This way, she made sure of it. Well, I'd better be going back to practice. Uh, uh, Miss Thomas, I wouldn't want anyone to think that I think out on when, so if... Don't worry, Anne. It all stays right in this room until it gets straightened out. I don't believe it. Rennie, we know that Wynn is a friend of yours, but... I don't believe it either. What's wrong with you two? Just because you like somebody... All right. Why would Anne lie about it? I didn't say she was lying. But on the other hand, nobody said she's not lying. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. But till I'm satisfied Wynn's guilty, I'm not going to ever take him off the team. <laughs> Wynn! Looking for this? Oh, thanks. Where'd you find it? There's something inside. Do you recognize it? No, I, I don't think so. Hey, those are some of the answers to the uh, exam we took this morning. All the answers. I recognize the ones I missed. All the answers? What are they doing in my book? Hi, Miss Thomas. You ready, Wynn? Um, Tom, could you let us have a few minutes? That's all right, Miss Thomas. I don't have anything to be ashamed of. <laughs> well, what's going down? Tom, someone has accused Wynn of cheating on the exam this morning. Well, you're not laughing, Miss Thomas. It's no joke. 
<laughs> well, would you mind telling me who's doing all this accusing? I'm sorry, Tom. I can't say anything. That's all right, Miss Thomas. You don't have to. Tom, could you let Miss Thomas and I talk for a minute? All right. I'll meet you at the car. I think I know who started that rumor, Miss Thomas. But you know something? I feel more sorrow than anger for her. Why is that? She wants everything, but she isn't willing to work for anything. I have a feeling she's going to end up with nothing. Hey, Tommy. Tommy, I hear you're going to be meeting a new number one girl. Oh, really? Where'd you hear that? Well, it's all over school. They caught one cheating on the chemistry exam. And you believe it? I'm well, sure I believe it. Then you really don't know when at all. You mean you don't believe it? Not a word. Well, whether you believe it or not, you're going to have to take her off the team. Listen, Annie, until they prove to me that Wynn's a cheat, she stays on the team, and she's still number one. You mean after all I... After all you what? Oh, never mind. You can keep your precious win. Ready, Tom? You know, you know, Anne is really weird. Weird how? Well, she just took off like a big bird, and all I did was... Miss Thomas, we better go after her. Go ahead. I'll see if I can get someone to head her off. Oh, mighty Isis. Number one girl. Who needs it? before she gets in an accident. She is an accident. She's just looking for some place to happen. Well, we can't let it happen. Okay, but if I drive any faster, we're the ones it'll happen to. didn't, so you can relax. Anne, are you all right? <clears throat> oh, well, if, if you knew what I did to you, you wouldn't care how I was. I know what you did. Just don't be sillier than you've already been. There's a lot about friendship and honesty to learn, Anne. But it may be a very expensive lesson for you. Well, if you and Tom and Wynn are examples of what it can be, then, then I guess I'd better learn, no matter what it costs. I think maybe you're on your way.
What was the decision of the disciplinary committee? I'm suspended from the cheerleading squad for the rest of the year. Tough. Yeah, but if I keep my grades up and I be a straight arrow until then, I can take another crack at it next year. That's super. I'll tell you something, though. I, I learned part of that lesson Isis talked about. What part? Being number one is never going to look as important to me again. Well, I'll tell you something, Ann. I think maybe you're on your way. That's funny. That's exactly what Isis said. Yeah. They sure seem to think alike. All right, bye, very nice.